It'll, it'll you'll lose the cor- the turtle essentially. It'll it's gonna run away, and you're never gonna be able to find it. This happened to me so many times. So what it would do is it keeps going in one direction without stopping ever, mm-hmm. and it just keeps digging and digging. So it's either it's gonna freeze when it goes out of render range, when it goes out of loading range, or when it's gonna run out of fuel. But anyways, set it up like this: up against a wall. Preferably, uh, I didn't write this either, but it has to be not hollow area, so I'm going to... This is very good for uh, starting uh, quarries before you, when you need supplies, and you can do this on any height. So Dylan, come in here, I'll show you. If you right-click the turtle, you'll see Turtle OS. You put uh, it facing in the two direction, unless I update the script and make it work in every direction. Uh, you put a chest behind it, you give uh, fuel in the first slot, and you type uh, quarry, and if you don't give it any arguments, it'll say how to do it. Uh, <clears throat> so let me explain. You give it an X, Y, and Z. So if you want it to dig 10 on the X axis, you put 10. Y, y- how high you want it to dig. So let's say you want it to, to mine out two blocks or four blocks. It, it can only be an even number. So let's say 2. And let's make... These numbers can be either odd or even. And the prerequisite of this whole system is that you have to have GPS computers set up. If you don't know how to do that, you should Google it because there's a good wiki on how to set up GPS wiki, computers. Wiki. And as soon as I press enter, it's going to say... Hmm. Hmm. GPS isn't working. If so, what you saw there cannot perform operation on an or on oh, nil. Oh, it's okay. I got the turtle. On nil and and, and and whatever. Um, if you get that error, that means your GPS is not working. So, for some strange reason, it's not working for us. So Dylan, come over here. We're gonna. We might be too far away from the GPS computers, but I doubt it. I haven't used the turtle in a bit, so put it down. Or okay, I'm just gonna test GPS. Okay, yeah, we were too far, so our the chunk got unloaded. So all of this is very uh, finicky, unstable, but it works pretty well. And as I said, you can do it on any altitude. Uh, we're gonna try this again. Five, just two, drag five. around that chest with it. No, I placed it. <laughs> no, but will it? No, no, no. So what's the point of it? You'll see. If it works. God, what? Are we still too far? Only one computer worked. We moved like ten blocks. Okay, okay, okay. This is not working out well. Uh, I know what we're going to do, Dylan. Come over here. Yeah, there's that one computer there. It was probably the one that was working. Mm-hmm. I'm going to just gonna set it up right here. Room. No, I'm going to make a new uh, quarry right here. Just a test demonstration. Are you looking into it? You're going to land. Yeah. You can't push me off, don't worry. They fixed that. Or changed that. Quarry 525. Yes, it used the chest at this location, and off it goes. So it digs in a pretty straightforward manner. We we don't want to stand in there, Dylan, because okay. it's gonna get mad at you. Now it's coming back to the chest. It's if you look into the chest, it dumped everything it found, and it's gonna keep going. So it's digging a too high. Come in here, Dylan. A too high, five by five uh, area. Oh, three high. With uh, yeah, it makes a strange little passage, which is actually pretty cool. But I don't know why it does that. My code is very uh <laughs> strange. I'll show you the code in a bit. 
it's pretty long too cuz gp i just wanted to screw around with the gps and see how gps works but you can make it as big as you want and as long as the computer stays in a loaded chunk in loaded chunks it'll work and as long as you give it fuel um it'll automatically refuel and if you right click it Dylan you can see it always knows its exact coordinates Print, prints them out yeah like oops there I see so now that it's mining if if also another cool thing if you get in the way of it like let's say a mob gets in the way Dylan you want to demonstrate when it comes back, when it comes back. Watch what it does. Yeah, stand there in front of the chest. It's going to come to you, don't worry. Ow. Punched me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's going to try to fight you. And it's even, like, killed mobs. I've seen it. Um, It's pretty cool. And when it realizes it's done, it's going to be like, I'm done. Yay. Oh, yeah, and uh, I was thinking of adding a feature where it'll automatically place torches, but that was too difficult. And for a two-dimensional design like this, it's difficult. Um, Should it be done? Did you set it Three, to go four, along five, six, what? Well, it's digging the one dimension properly. I don't think it's digging the other dimension properly. <sighs> I don't know. It's not a very finished uh, program, but it worked well for me, and uh, that's how we got all of our supplies, because we, it was able, yeah, it, it, it bugs out and doesn't stop properly. So you have to control T on it, or, or break it. And then it'll terminate. interesting but yeah and uh, if you want to see the code for the program oh yeah I'll show it to you up in our house Dylan if you want to look at the code coding type uh, edit edit quarry edit quarry oh my goodness scroll down can't, how do you scroll? I can't scroll. arrow keys And else return tree, blah 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 blah. I don't know how to read code, blah blah. And end and end. And end. Oh yeah, that's like all of the knowing where to go. It also stores its heading. Dumping into the chest. Create all of this yeah, I, I no, this is this is completely mine. Well mm. Only the part about someone suggesting Storing a direction variable, but I wrote everything myself. I like to look at the stuff floating in here. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool, right? So yeah, it's enchanting like it disappears on the backside, like it, and when it's rotating. Mm -hmm. We need more paper, I think, right? We have enough leather. Just need more paper. Do we have enough leather? I thought the leather was the. Uh, nope, we have 15 more leather. We only so used we can, up half of it. We can make like five more bookshelves. So, we just need so more. more. I'm gonna bleed. bring some. I think I grew. If you enjoy these episodes, please leave a like on the video so I know oh, really? that you're enjoying them. Should they? I don't think they should. Just, just ignore it completely. Dylan enjoys recording with me, and he if if he if you don't leave a like, he's gonna feel bad. It's gonna make me cry every time. It will. And it's, it's gonna bring the water out of my eyes. And hit the lenses? The no, no, the lenses in your eyes. Yeah, this is gonna block contact the lenses. lenses. Gonna Wait, like hold the what, what happens? Do they like wiggle around, and then they you well, start? Like, do they ducks aren't on your eye. They're like on the oh. edges of your eye. So. Wait, 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 wait. But like, what if your contact lens goes under your eyelid and then you lose it? Um, it happens sometimes. It's like when my... I'm trying to remove them, sometimes oh, God. the contact lens will go like on the back of my eyeball. Oh, God. <laughs> like it'll go behind my eye sometimes. Does that hurt? 
a little bit. <laughs> so then you have to oh. like wiggle your eye around. <laughs> oh my god. Like moves out. I'm scared now. <laughs> Cause my, my mom has contact lenses and like she literally can't see without them unless she or she no. She can either read a paper like an inch away from her eyes. That's how close sighted she is. Like you have to be holding it like an inch literally from your eyes. Otherwise everything is super blurry. What does the sulfur goo actually do? It's like for it's a red dye and also a fertilizer. Mm. It's apparently what the torches drop sometimes. You can, you can enchant the mining drill, right? Can yeah. You upgrade the mining drill when it has an enchantment. Oh, can you? Enchantment? No, you can't. What? Oh, what you have to do is you have to you know enchanting books in the yeah, new update. That. You have to do that and then do. Uh... Yeah, and then you can put like an efficiency book on it. You can even do silk touch on and a mining be drill. Left there forever because it's a drill. Yeah. Not a pickaxe. Yep. How's our recycler going? Good. Okay, so what are what's our next project, Dylan? Um. You you the tell me. Titanium thing. Oh or oh, advanced drills. Drill. Yes. Yeah. So I think we need more bauxite. So we have enough for the overclocker upgrade, so all we need is the titanium, and then we can make advanced drills. Let's see. So right now we have uh, two titanium dust, and there it's on the left side, left bottom, nearish left bottom. You see it? Yeah, the tiny piles? Or... No. Is that with actual dust? Yeah. Oh, I see it there, yeah. Um, so we that you need two per drill. And we have 40 more bauxite. I'm gonna. How's our electricity going? Okay, it's good. I'm gonna shut down the electric engines. Later on, we're gonna upgrade our electricity setup. Because what you should be doing is you should have a MFE, like a or have a over here have an MFSE or MFSU, which is like 10 million power. Okay. And then from there, have a MFE dedicated to each the electrolyzer, and one for the blast furnace, one for the electrolyzer, one for every big tool, yeah, or one for every like machine. One MFE for everything. Yeah, because that way, if you have one dedicated for everything, even like you won't, you don't have to turn everything. Because see, right now, if you try to run both of them at once, even if our MFE is fully charged and each only takes like a hundred thousand that won't drain the whole MFE but since there's only one cable going to both of them that splits a ca one MFE doesn't give out enough power per second to handle both of the machines okay. if that makes some sense I guess I don't know I actually think I could we could make an MFSU yeah we can yeah, we have like everything it, we need. Thing is, yeah, it's gonna require a lot more thinking. And and thinking. Other stuff. Oh, and I mean, for like wiring it. Because. And it's gonna take a lot of rubber. Let me think about this. Because you also will need uh, transformers. Because if you plug in an MFE directly to an MFSU, the MFE will blow up, I think. Because. Duh. Не, 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 не. MFE подключить к MFSU. Просто. Because I think. Oh, this is done. Oh, are you gonna keep it going? Oh, I'm gonna keep it going. Мне кажется, что 128. Но я не не уверен. Okay, so we have. We need to run it for two more times. Okay. And I think we don't have enough box it. How do you get box it or? Where did we get it? I don't know. I know we Box got, we, we had a lot of it at one point. Can you check? Bauxite. Uh, it looks like this red ore. From Where the nether? Mine it. I don't know. Uh, how do I figure out about it? What is it called? Bauxite uh, ore? Bauxite ore, yeah. Uh, you might have to Google it. I'll do that. Thank you, because I'm recording. I love the mining drill, though. Bauxite ore. Oh, hey, boxing is like a real thing, so I need to search it and beat the beast. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, all of this is real stuff, pretty much. Well, a lot of it is. Oh, we have so much Electrum. 
Wow, I didn't even... work can spawn on layers 1 to 48 with up to 23 ores per vein. It can be found in most types of forest biome. Forest? Um, yeah. Unlike most ores, blah blah blah, yeah, you know that. So it's, yeah, it's just normal ore. Interesting. Forest biomes. So our quarry's gonna get it? Eventually. Oh god, we got some flax seeds. Oh, lots of copper from the quarry. 30 copper. Except we don't need it anymore. Because <laughs> now we need rubber. Oh yeah, I think yeah. I put in like a bunch of uh, rubber wood into the... It's like 23 in the thingy right now, but there's no wood on it. Oh. 23 rubber. Let me get more. So we have uh, 56 rubber currently. You want to use it all up on uh, circuits? Can we like get rubber tree more rubber trees? Like make a rubber tree farm? <sighs> like like you did with the other one. Mm -hmm. Have like an infinite supply of rubber tree saplings that we can use. So Dylan, yeah, let's go for an adventure. Adventure time. together. Ready? Is yeah. your stuff charged up? Hopefully, yeah. all charged. We're gonna go to where I found the rubber trees. Violet. These aren't regular rubber trees, these are special rubber trees. Like the big rubber trees? Like the massive ones. Yeah. Just mine. Because I think to grow those, you have to have 3x3 three three of saplings. You know, like for jungle wood, you need 2x2 two two of saplings? Mm -hmm. I think you have to place 3x3 three three of rubber tree saplings. It's 200 blocks from here. You have it marked? Yep. So we can mine more rubber ore. Or rubber wood. <laughs> rubber ore. Rubber ore. What blocks did you say bauxite spawned on? 1 to 48. 1 to 48. So it's like... Interesting. I don't remember running into it for a while. In forests. Hmm. It's shallow. Interesting. This is a rubber tree. My goal is to get some saplings, cause. Oh yeah, here I see. I think I have the axe still. Steel or or thomium? No, thomium and. Uh, one With thomcraft, you can make really cool axes that cut down a whole tree at once. <laughs> like the. Or not at once, thing. but like. You just hold left click on the bottom of the tree and it cuts down from the top down automatically. So pretty cool stuff. Swag. Swag stuff. Yeah. Got that swag. I don't know why why having my hard drive overload makes my game lag. Like I, I can see that when I'm recording right now. My hard drive that I'm storing the recordings on is overloaded because it's not a very good hard drive. And because I'm running both servers off of it right now. So it's already getting used even if I'm not recording. Anyways, we'll be back as soon as it's I stop lagging. 